Okay, now I'm going to show you how to flash your kernel through a clockwork mod. So what you want to do is hold the up for the volume button and the power at the same time. You're going to wait for the Samsung sign to come up. Let go of the power button, but keep your finger on the volume up. And then once you see clockwork mod pop up, just let go of the volume button right there. Okay. Then once you've downloaded the kernel you want, you want to go to install zip from SD card. Click the power button to select it. And choose zip from SD card. And I have mine in a file called kernels. And I have one right here. Select it. Scroll down to yes, install whichever one you have. Power button, it's installing it. And then once it's installed, click go back at the bottom of the scroll. And reboot, reboot system now. And now you have that kernel. That's all there is to it. Use a flash, or when you flash it through clockwork mod. So if you watch previous previous videos, I will it show I show you how to put the clockwork mod on here using Odin. And to check that you have it on here, you want it to turn on. Once it gets to the point. Well, you just go to settings. Uh, let's see. Settings. And then you go to about device. Firmware is 2.3.5. And the kernel I have right now is 2.6.35.7, blah, 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 quad monkey number 97. So now I have the latest version from him on XDA. I can post a link to it here. And that's all there is to using Clockwork Mod for flashing a ROM or flashing a kernel. And I guess I can show you how to uh, back up your system using that too right now. So I'm going to turn it off. So it's not going to do it anyways. Give it a second here. And all this stuff is just really easy to do. And hopefully, within the next few months, CyanEngine Mod will come out with their ROM. Really hoping they do for this. So, once again, hold volume up, power. See the Samsung, let go of the power. It's still holding the volume button. And there it is. And then you're going to want to go down to backup and restore. Yes. And then click. Uh, hold on a second. Go back. I don't think I clicked on the right one. Yeah, I clicked on mounts and storage. I meant to click on backup and restore. And then click. Just click the first one, backup, if you want to do the external SD card, which I do. So, backup. And then it backs it up. It takes about five minutes, so I'm going to just stop the video. And I'll do another. I'll stop it when it comes back to it. Okay, once it's done with the backup, it'll look something like this. And just click on Reboot System Now. And you're done. That's about it. And you can go back to it by following the same steps I did at the beginning, getting into Clockwork Mod, Recover, and stuff like that. And click on Recover from SD card and find the file you made. It should be the date. And you can make as many as you want as long as you have room on your SD. And I just copy and paste them to my computer. And I keep a couple on there, or one or two. 
that I know are working perfect or up to par, so that's about it. Thanks for watching and hope this helps you.